Moses Lake is well on its way to becoming a hub for advanced battery manufacturing. Today, the U.S. Secretary of Energy, Washington State Senator Maria Cantwell, and Governor Jay Inslee visited two companies that are paving the way for that technology. Grab 2's Amanda Rowley shares highlights from their tours today. Sela and Group 14 are two companies putting Moses Lake on the cutting edge of advanced battery technology. Last year, these companies invested each of their $100 million federal grants into building manufacturing facilities here. Here at Sela, everything from this Moses Lake facility will be commercial large-scale production for electric vehicles. And Group 14's BAM2 facility will be the world's largest factory for advanced silicone batteries battery materials. It's Moses Lake's moment. Washington Senator Maria Cantwell, Governor Jay Inslee, and the U.S. Secretary of Energy visited the companies to see firsthand how they're progressing. It's exciting that, that here you guys in Moses Lake are really leading the way. I, it's such a wonderful story and I'm thrilled to be here. Sela recognizes not only did their grant fund the construction of their facility, but it also invests in the community. That's why Sela partnered with Big Bend Community College in Moses Lake to support a workforce pipeline. What we envision is that a high school student could graduate from high school with a certificate or a degree where they can walk right into a job at, at Sela. Construction of Sela is still underway with production expected to start next year. Over at Group 14, its CEO and founder is looking forward to starting production this summer. We are going to lead a transformation from lithium ion batteries to silicon batteries, and it's going to start and grow right here in Moses Lake. CEO Rick Luby says 80% of Group 14's hires from last year are from the local workforce. That's what's really exciting to see how much Moses Lake could really become the epicenter of this clean energy ecosystem. In Moses Lake, Amanda Rowley, Creme 2 News.